Hello again. So I also have been looking to get a raunchy eyepiece, which is quite a rare item here in the United States. So and uh, like posting wanted on classifieds and things like that, but uh, nothing came up. So I found an alternative solution. This is an encoder strip from an um, inkjet printer and ordered it from China for like a 15, 15 bucks a roll or something. So this strip has like 360 lines per inch. Not sure it will be able to see that, but now it's quite quite dense. So slightly above the recommended, but well worth trying. So so having the strip what's next? Next is to figure out an eyepiece holder for it, right? So I've printed those two things on my MSLA 3D printer. MSLA is sort of much better because the precision of its part is sort of touch notch, top notch. So this one is basically the eyepiece with 125 diameter over here and this is basically to cover and pitch the tape on top. Internally I have used a grounding which is quite good so for doing things like that any pieces of telescope and I need grounding what I use I use this kind of thing which is sort of like an electronics carbon conductive coating which used to help you to suppress EMI electromagnetic interference if you're designing some analog circuits which I also used it for but I found it this kind of carbon infused acrylic paint has like quite awesome light absorption parameters so it's like absolutely dark so let's get to it, shall we? So the idea is to cut a nice small piece of strip. Each lens will fit exactly here between the bolts around. I'm trying not to touch anything. And I'm trying not to touch anything. And right. this looks good. And now the most satisfying part. It just fits super nicely. And now I'm having four. Mountain both okay where's my screwdriver as always right here it is here it is it's almost all So we already pre-tapped holes. Should be awesome. And I'm gonna try it 
on a start test as soon as some skies will clear so it's basically cost me just 15 bucks for this tape out of which I probably can make a thousand of those <laughs> because this thing this tape is like four meters long or something <laughs> So basically you need like one centimeter centimeter per piece or even less it's like this opening was six millimeters and four meters of those notches is basically yields you 100 per meter so sorry 400 items right so for 15 bucks you can have 400 crappy raunchy eyepieces and voila nice and flush Need to get a nice matte black plastic though. They all slightly translucent, so it does not matter. We need to paint them anyway. Okay, this looks more or less clean. So let's see. So probably so it's relatively translucent, so it should work more or less fine with six hundred sixty lines per inch, it's like like fifteen lines per millimeter. Slightly blurry. But you see the blurry over here, so that's what kind of diffraction effect it creates. We'll see how it works. Hopefully we'll be able to capture some images of Star Testing Camera. Thank you for watching.